different sides being on the side of the pitch, and obviously you can't really push back anyone. You're being from a different era almost, how does it compare to today? Well, the difference is, the longest walk to me was from home plate to the dugout. I, I hated striking out, and that's the thing that's happening in baseball today. Everybody wants to hit home runs, and you're finding out that guys are striking out 150, 175 times. And so when you start doing that, you you're not concentrating on what you're really supposed to be doing at home plate, and that is to make contact. You guys do I kid to the free throw in basketball. You know those guys need to make those free throws. What did you do after you got 3,000 hits after the game? Well, what did I do after I got 3,000 hits? I'm going to tell you, it was one of the most exciting t time of my life because when you when you get 3,000 hits, you're in a class of Ty Cobb and a lot of great players. And so, you know, I was happy. I was, I was glad it was over with because I think that year we, we were supposed to go out and strike. and um, But I, I was really happy that it was over with. Did you go out and celebrate or do anything in particular? Not really. I didn't do, do much. You know, I just took my daughters and um, headed home. <laughs> Excellent. Not right here, yeah. Um, did you ever get to meet Tony Gwynn and what kind of a person was he to you? Well, I met Tony when I came out to California, and we were in spring training. And I was uh, working with some of our young players and teaching them how to bunt. And we were on the backfield, and Tony came came back to that field and kind of stood off and you know blocking himself out. He thought I didn't see him, you know, but he was trying to learn also from me, you know, how to bunt. And Ever since that day, we were uh, we were great friends. You know, we talked about hitting a lot, and you couldn't meet a nicer guy than Tony Gwynn. And I, you know, I tell you, San Diego was lucky to have a guy like that playing for them and uh, and, and residing here in San Diego. Oh, What was your favorite baseball moment of all time? What was my favorite baseball moment of all time? Uh, getting my first hit. Because they say, once you get that first hit, you can relax and, and start getting more. So that was my, uh, the most exciting thing to me when I came up my first year uh, with the Twins. How long did it take to get that first hit? Uh, first game. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing against, I was playing against Baltimore, and I was facing Dave McNally. And the previous year, the, the pitching staff from Baltimore had a heck of a year. So it was nice to face one of the top pitchers and, and get a base hit off. Absolutely. All right, wait, because we're who do you think is the best hitter in the game right now? Who do I think is the best hitter in the game? You know, I've got two. Uh, Mike Trout and, uh, and, and Cabrera with Detroit. He is, he is a consummate hitter as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and you're not showing any homer favoritism with that Trout. No, <laughs> Well, you know what's funny, you know, I've, I've spoken to Mike Trout a lot, and I like the way he plays the game. He reminds me of Derek Jeter. If you watch the way Derek Jeter played the game, he played the game the same way every day. He hit a ground ball, he runs hard to first base. No matter what he does, he did it with a smile on his face, and that tells me that he's really enjoying himself. So I tell kids, you know, Watch the way Mike Trout played because I told I told Mike the same thing. You you reminded me so much of Derek Jeter the way he went about playing the game. I'm sure he's honored to hear that from you as well.